Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is episode 8 of our Pokemon Colosseum randomised playthrough. Now, last time we had an absolute ball, last episode, had a great time. We caught ourselves a really nice Gen 1 starter in Ivysaur. We went all the way through to, I think it was, this is called Agate Town or something like that. Um, but we've got a very, very special relic here that helps us do some really cool things. Now, if you haven't checked out the previous episode, or any of the other episodes for that matter, there's a playlist on my channel, and if you'd be so inclined, go check them out. But, we're back, and we can do some really cool things with some of our uh, older teammates. Now, we can check through all of these. I'm pretty sure Paris is a no-go. Okay, Cradilly's almost there. Nido Queen's there. Totodile's there. Hitmonlee's there. Some Flora's not there. Kingler's not there. And Grumpig's just Grumpig. And there's our Ivysaur. So, I think it's time that we shuffle the team up a little bit. Now, it's going to be a tough one, but I think Cedra. I think Cedra's got to go. So Cedra's out. And Ivysaur's in. That's annoying how I didn't just switch that in. Right. Torchic staying in. It's one of my favourite Pokemon. It's staying in. <laughs> Blissey should stay in. Right, okay. I, I'm going to just do the whole... We're going to do the whole the purification thing first. And then we'll see where we're at. So... I need Nido Queen and Hitmonlee still. So that's just, that's just a lot easier for me to do that. And just do that. There we go. Right. Right. Let's go and back to the relic. So I'm gonna go back out. We're gonna go purify some more Pokemon. So now we have revealed one of the main mechanics in this game, which is indeed. Uh, catching shadow Pokemon, working their shadow gauge down, opening the door to their heart, ugh, and then purifying them here at the shrine. And they do earn all of the XP that you think that they've missed out on during them being a shadow Pokemon. So here is Totodile. This is one I've been really excited for. Dum, dum, dum. There we go. <laughs> God's sake. That's a lot of experience right there. I think he's going to hit level 35, maybe? Oh, wait. Just two levels. Okay. Yes! Evolution animation! You guys get to see this for the first time? Let's go! Look at him. Oh, look how powerful he is. Fred-looking Flintstone. God, I love that. Yes. There it is, guys. A Crocknall. Now, I would call him Fred, but I'm leaving nicknames to the comment section and to the loyal watchers. So if you are out there, you know who you are. Give me some nicknames, man. Give me some nicknames. But this boy's going to be a Fralligator soon. And so... Yeah, I, th I think he's got to stay in the team, honestly. He just does. Uh, but, I mean, I say that now. We'll decide that when we get back to the PC. Let's, uh, let's... Oh, man, this feels good, like, opening the opening the door to the heart of the, the guys that have been with us since the early episodes. Look at Nita Queen doing a little jig. You love to see it. Moonlight. 12,000 experience points. Wow. Still going. Level 34. I mean, wow. Want to call a yas. But we'll, we'll leave that to the comment section. Right. And last, but not least, Lee. Bruce. A legend. Our first Shadow Pokemon in the playthrough has been purified. 
Minimize. Wow. And 6,000 experience points. Nice. Uproar. Okay. Is this a good move for us to know? Uh, thunder and fire blast. What the hell, man? Uh, I don't... I think minimize. Is that a good move? I... Uh, causes an uproar for two to five turns. Prevents sleep. So maybe not. I think I'm just going to keep minimize because it might be. It might come in clutch. Right, I might regret that. Right, level thirty-two. There we go. Oh no, shit! I didn't want to do that. Uh, okay, yeah, I'll leave it at him only. Again, comments. Go, go, go. Nicknames, nickname, nicknames. Let's do it. Okay, cool. So we have. Three more purified Pokemon, guys. Wonderful. I can't wait to get this Ivysaur purified. So I've, I've, I think Ivysaur's got us down the team. Let's go and... Uh, let's go heal up the team and decide on who's going to be in the team. Because I've got, to upgrade, I've got to update some graphics. Future Tojo. That's your job. I'll try and not change things up too much so you've got too much work. Right, PC... Pokemon Center. Let's heal up and then we will uh, move some team members around. Ba, 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 ba. Level 38 though, that Ivysaur, man. That is massive. That's a really, really high level. Right, so... <sighs> right. Tor For me, Torchic has to be in here, right? So for me, Hitmonlee comes out. Okay. Blissey. Am I going to cause controversy here? This is tough, man. This is real tough. Uh, okay. I want to keep Steelix in. And I want to keep Ivysaur in. And I want to keep Crocknaught and Torchic in. I, th I think this is the team, guys. I think this is the team. Um, yeah. This this is the team for now. This is what we're going for. So, we've got Steelix, Rayquaza, Ivysaur, Croknaw, Nidoqueen, and Torchic. And if we need to, then... Tropius... Oh, it's level 35. It's quite a high level. Tropius. Oh, Blissey. I might regret that. Right. We're eight minutes in and we've not done anything aside from choose the team. So, I'm going to leave it at that. Any major objections? Light your torches and sharpen your pitchforks. Again, in the comment section down below. Let me know what you want to see. Change things up for future episodes. Who knows? But... I imagine there's going to be a few more Shadow Pokemon at some point that we're going to encounter. Uh, I'm going to go to the Pokemon Center because I haven't bought anything in a very long time and I realised that I need to get some supplies. So, I'm going to get some revives, I think, if I can, which I can indeed. I'm going to get five of those. Yes, I do. I'm going to buy some Hyper Potions as well. I'm going to get five of those. Four of those. Yes. And can I not buy... Oh, turns out I can't buy Pokeballs from that guy. Do I need to go to the dude in the uh, outskirts for that? Let's do that. Right, mate. I would like some. There we go. Oh, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Timer ball. Okay, okay, okay. Water and bug. Weaker Pokemon. Okay. So, why is Great Ball above Pokeball? That's weird. So, I'm going to buy... I shouldn't have wasted so much money on potions. Uh, can I sell anything? Okay, yeah, I can. Uh, right, let's sell some stuff that we, we don't need. Right, iron and protein and all that crap. I just, there's no point. And it gives us money. And I would much much rather have Pokeballs to catch something in case we come into contact with a that's pointless a very good Pokemon I, I, I just really don't want to be uh, caught out so 
Let's grab some more Ultra Balls. I'm going to grab six Ultra Balls, I think. And then... I'm going to grab... Three Timer Balls. Just in case a battle goes on long enough. Uh, net Balls are always good, just in case. I'm going to get three of them. I'm going to buy ten Great Balls. Just to get the Premier Ball. And then I'm just going to do the rest. I think I'm just going to throw the rest on uh, Ultras. There you go. I don't have enough money. You're poor. Right. So we're all stocked up on balls. Full of balls. <laughs> right. We're looking good. Ivysaur. Front and centre, please, sir. Our mission, if we choose to accept it, is to go to Mount Battle and rescue some ruckus something that's going on up there so let's see ah, what's going on up here then troubling music Ooh. talk to me it's terrible it's terrible i tell you it's terrible my ball is under attack by a group of shady people i'm so out of breath stop running then thinking about taking them out about challenge forget about it i'd keep clear of that place for now a Hermat battle has been taken over by a bunch of trainers that use weird Pokemon. Ooh, good job we stocked up on some bulls then, isn't it, guys? Right, so, what's going on in here? A bunch of creepy-looking trainers came and started attacking other trainers without any warning. Those trainers, the Pokemon they had, weren't normal any way you look at them. Hmm, interesting. It looks like they're after Vanda, who's an area leader, but why would anyone want to do that? I'd go help, but the best I've ever managed is eight consecutive wins. I wouldn't get very far. Interesting. Right. This is the coupon exchange, but right now everything's suspended because of the horrible people. Okay. What about this guy? Master Roshi, what are you saying? This is distinguished place of training for honourable trainers. What is the meaning of this outrage? Those attackers, how dare they attack others without any regard for the rules? They're failures as trainers. Oof. But anyway. Uh, oh yes, I'm the move deleter. Don't be shocked, but I can make Pokemon forget their moves. Would you like me to do that? Interesting. So, move deleter is there. Mental note. No, I'm sorry, but I can't let you in. It's full of thugs. It's dangerous. Oh, you heard about us from Duking. You must be here to save us. You see, it was me who contacted Duking for help. I didn't think you would get here so quickly, but please be careful. The power of their Pokemon isn't normal. Ugh. Not normal is my specialty. Give me the Shadow Pokemon. What you got for us? Right. But if you're really must short sure, I'll battle you. Okay. So this is Mount Battle, guys. Uh, very cool concept in this game that I will leave until later, maybe, for us to realise what's going on. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Oh, look at him. I've unplugged my headphones. I don't know what's going on. Right. The king. Look at him. What I would give for that to be a shadow Pokemon. Oh man. Right. I don't want to attack him. I've got to. Jesus. Oh, I'm a bit low on the volume. Right. I'm sorted. <laughs> Finn Lugia, yeah, man. Okay. So. Brilliant. Okay. So, we're both in hyper mode. This guy knows Hyper Beam, which will do an obscene amount of damage. Can you stop? Look at this duck. Oh, God. Come on. Let's get some hits off. Oh, man, Lug is so sick. Look at him. Oh. God. So we've... Oh, man. We've already seen Lugia and ho in this playthrough. Wow. 
God. So much love. Right, I need to compose myself. Right, let's, um... No, 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 no! Oh, that was dumb, Lugia. Steelix eating that up. Can you not, please? Oh, piece off. Right, Ivysaur's out. That's not great. Uh, right, who's got... Uh, let's, let's do it. Let's bring Torchic out. We need to try and level him up. We need to get him... Combuscan. Okay, there we go. Right, we're doing okay. Lugia's going down. We're doing okay. Come on. Steelix is in hyper mode. Um, I'm going to bring him out of hyper mode. And... What does that do? Acid armor. Is that defense? I think it does. I'm going to do that. Because if he hits me with hyper mode... Hyper mode? Hyper beam? Normal type moves are physical. That isn't though. Guys, Magmar's moveset is... Oh my god! Jeez, this magma is putting in some work here. So I've got Moonlight, Return, Hypnosis, and Wrap. Follow me, Blast Burn, Leech Seed, Vine Whip. This calls for Snick. Snick time, baby! Rayquaza, do some, do some damage, son. Get this sucker out of here. Disgusting. Oh man. See ya. Ah, she's just absurd. Oh, spoon boy. Sunny d What the hell is going on with this Lou Gear man? I wonder if all of the moves sets are the same. Oof. That Alakazam is You see that animation? Oh my god. He was just like, paint me, paint me like one of your French girls. <laughs> he creeped up to the front. That was sick. Oh my god. Rest in peace, King Lugia. Until next time. He will be mine one day. Um, don't do that, please. Thank you. Oh, for God's sake, Steelix. Okay. Uh, let's do that Shadow Punch. There we go. I don't need any training. Okay. Can I heal my Pokemon? Can I go back? Uh, Master Dakeem will reprimand me. Oh. Right, can I go back? Yeah, I can. Good. Right, I need to heal. Uh, let's do that. Yes, please. Healy, healy. Thank you. Do, 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 do. Thank you, thank you. Okay. I need Torchic to fucking evolve. Because it's really not good at the moment. How low level it is. It's just getting bodied all the time. But once it's Blaziken, it ain't going to have no problems. Come on then. Hmm, Chura took a fool, did he? I could never count on that guy. Well, I'll just think of it as there being more for me to enjoy. Come on. Let's go. I hope you guys are enjoying the music just as much as I am in this game. Honestly. So good. 
Okay, 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 right. Level 35 and 36. Damn. Okay, okay, right. So... Uh, what have we got? Explosion, Mirko, Rapid Spin, Acid Armor. Explosion, Mirko, maybe? If you survive it, Torch it. You're a hero. Okay, no. Uh, yeah, Torch it would never have survived that. Smell it. Oh, is that a uh, physical or no? If so. Gonna fail, isn't it? I think smelling salt's a physical move. Yeah. Damn it. Okay. Uh, I, I I just want Torchic to have some experience, so I'm gonna pull him out and uh, bring in Neo Queen. I just need it to level up first because his stats are just so low at the moment. And given that all of these like Pokemon are just like so high level, look at the damage on that. The Giga. Do you mind? Look at them doubling in on Torchic. Poor old Torchic. Right. That's got to be uh... big damage. Okay, can I get? I'm going to take Steelix out of Hyper Mode and I'm going to use Return on Lombre because I don't want him healing anymore. Nice. Look at that Shadow Bar go down. Oh, that's going to do some damage. Oh. It's Ice. Not very effective on... Oh, I'm confused. No, Steel is super effective on Ice. Boom. Get out of here. You're gone. Pidgeot. Oh, look at that. Going crazy, look at him. Right, uh, what's the next move? I believe it's a Shadow Rush, and I believe it's a Return on. Oh, go away. Them animations, though. Them animations, though, they're so good. Oh, okay, I wasn't expecting that to happen. Right, Steelix is gone. Brilliant. Hmm. Let's, uh... Has he got Fire Blast? No, he's got... Well, he's, uh, he's got Grass Moves, hasn't he? No, oh, good. Uh, a spring crop, right? Let's give him some time. Back at him. <laughs> right, that's got to be a knockout, surely. Yeah, there we go. Cool. So, yesterday I. Uh, was it today? Yesterday? Yesterday I pre ordered my boxes for uh, Shiny Star V. I'm very, very excited for that set. It's going to be a big one. And uh, it's going to be in high demand, guys. I, I'm telling you. We think that the ETBs for Champions Path have been bad. Remember Ultra Shiny GX and how bad that was. And like how hard it was to get hold of boxes. They were just sold out everywhere in Japan. You were limited to one box. It, it was mental. And even when I went there, it was so hard to get the packs. So this set's going to be no exception, especially with the recent hype around uh, Pokemon and stuff at the moment. Like, honestly, it's going to be huge. So, if you can, get your pre-orders in ASAP. But yeah, it's going to be sick. It's going to be such a good set. It's going to be such a good set. I can feel it. The uh, Shiny Charizard VMAX is just absurd. Like, <laughs> it's a ridiculously good-looking card. And I, I hate them pimping out Charizard for all of this stuff. But it looks good. So wouldn't mind a little uh, shiny VMAX to go alongside uh, this boy here from uh, Ultra Shiny GX. 
never really considered myself a Charizard collector. Now, all of a sudden, I've just amassed so many Charizards. And I think... Oh, fuck, that was so close. I think that's just a byproduct of there just being so many damn Charizards that have been released. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think... Vivid Voltage, I'm going to be buying the singles for the... Uh, Oh, okay. I'm going to go heal. Vivid Voltage, I'm going to be buying the singles for the Pikachu Full Arts, I think, and for the um, Amazing Rares. I'm going to pick them up. I need the Rayquaza, and I need the other guys. So I think I'm, I'm just going to buy them as they are when they come out. Um, they'll be super expensive in the first, like, two weeks, three weeks. And then just like that Charizard VMAX, they'll drop down a little bit in price, and then they'll start to go up again, I think, because... The Amazing Rares are serious cards, like they look incredible. Um, so yeah, it means I'm not going to be buying Vivid Voltage probably to open up on the channel. I, I just can't see it happening. Um, maybe a trainer box, because I like getting the sleeves and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, it's a. It's, it's, I just can't. I can't. I can't see me getting much, um, much Vivid Voltage. So, I've got to think of some more video ideas <laughs> and keep series like this going, man. I mean, yeah, maybe maybe I'll start another uh, game series because this one might be wrapping up by that time. Who knows? Um, but yeah, end of November, early December. Oof, what a Christmas present that would be if you managed to pull one of the Charizards. Because I imagine there's going to be the other, the English version of the, uh, sorry, the Japanese version of the English uh, shiny Charizard that we've seen. So yeah, uh, I'm going to leech off the Slowking because that's super effective. And I am going to Acid Armor because I think that will increase my defense. Oh, that was stupid. I think. Or was it special defense? There we go, nice defense. Thief. That ain't going to do if you hit me. It's not going to do nothing. Okay, it did something. Oh, Dark is special, isn't it? Damn it. So yeah, really excited for uh, Shiny Star V. Like, it's going to be so good. It's going to be so, so good. Uh, and then we kind of just got to wait, really, until uh, the next kind of new base set from uh, Japan comes through, which is like basically the reset of uh, Sword and Shield, like the second base set, because they always release like another big set, which is like split into two. They like doing that in Japan. Um, because they... Just to clarify, they do... Was it uh, like sword? Uh, oh, really? Tortic really doesn't have any moves, does it? Let's miracle again. Um, they do like a sword and shield set. That's physical, so that's going to just hurt me. Oof. Um, and this time around, they're going to do rapid strike and whatever the other one was. Basically, Urshifu's two moves, um, but they'll split it between the two Urshifu forms, uh, which is pretty cool. So yeah, they're um This could be interesting. What is this monkey doing? Oh, stop it. I'm just gonna switch out torture because you just can't do anything until it gets a new move. I should probably check the TMs, see if I've got anything that's compatible. Um But yeah, after Shiny Star V, it's gonna be like two months really until anything comes out, so uh what I'm thinking of doing is um I'm going to invest a couple, in a couple of things that I've been looking at for a while. So, uh, a couple of things that I can see going up in value. I don't have enough uh, uh, followers and that stuff to kind of really influence any kind of markets. And I'm happy for you guys to kind of know what my plans are. Uh, so, I'm going to be looking at the XY era secret rare gold cards. Beautiful cards. One of them, the Alexander's got a Lugia on the back. So, yeah, but all like jokes aside uh that is there are some serious serious cards and all of them i think are uh, arita specials so i'm sure here arita um and they're horrifically underpriced i think at the moment uh the other things that i want to try and collect are uh, i love the tag teams from sun and moon era like honestly i i don't know i never really got into the tag teams that much but the promos especially are beautiful and they're very low price and fantastic artwork and they're really hard to grade um, mainly because of the storage that they get put in so I'm going to blanket purchase a few of those 
and see if I can get anything that's gradable. Oh, he's got takedown. Nice. That's a that's a nice little move. Um, so I'm gonna shadow rush the monkey and I'm gonna shadow punch Sloking. Uh, just as an example, this guy right here, you can see that. That uh, you can't really see it because of the glare, but yeah, this Reshiram and Charizard promo, beautiful card, beautiful tag team. Um, and there's plenty more where that came from. And um, the, the other two that spring to mind are the uh, Umbreon and Darkrai and the Espeon and Deoxys ones. Those cards are stunning. And they're still everywhere in those collection boxes. So super, super cheap. Uh, and, uh, you know, this isn't like a flipping thing. Like, I'm not going to... Like, you, you're deluded if you think that you can pick something like that up and then immediately kind of uh, get a return on it. Um, you know, these are things that I'm going to be looking at like fairly long term. Uh, so yeah, th there's those. So the, the XY Secret Rares and the uh, Tag Teams. And the other thing is the uh, Tag All-Star Secret Rares. So the gold cards in there, they are well expensive at the moment. Um, most of them are exceeding like the £50 mark. Obviously the Golden Charizard and Reshiram. Um, I don't think these cards have peaked in their value yet. But they are more than likely going to be Japanese exclusives because I just cannot see the Pokemon company putting uh, GX cards into anything that we're going to get over the next few months. Just because GX is just, they don't exist in sets anymore. Um, so I think they're gone. You know, honestly, I don't think we're going to see these gold cards. And if we do, they're going to be promos and that sucks. But I, I just can't, I cannot see it happening. So... I'm going to be picking up some of those if I can at a reasonable price. And if I can't, then I, there's just a massive surplus of these Tag All-Star boxes. And they're still around the £60, £70 pound mark. So, I'm thinking, I'm just going to shell some money into those. And uh, open some up. It's going to be good fun. I, I like that set. It's a, it's, a, it's a holiday set, so it's a win. There's a Rayquaza in there, so if I get that, great. That's great. There's... Uh, those gold cards are awesome, and if you can get a god pack, whew, get a god pack, you, you're loving life. Um, but I don't know what the pull rates are on the on the, uh, the secret rare, so I don't know how frequently you'll kind of get gold. I've got plenty of friends that have been opening up quite a lot of product. So Zara, if you're watching, Zara or girl on Instagram, I know she's opened up a lot, so I'm going to be asking her very soon about what she thinks the kind of pull rates are, and I'll judge that. I'll judge my uh, box purchase quantity on that. Because I want to try and get hold of at least one or two. And if they're looking good, great. And then they should be worth good monies in the future. Long-term investment. So yeah, if, especially if they never come to English. These are the kind of things you have to think about, guys. You know, don't just buy for the sake of buying. There's a certain level of like gut feeling with um, a lot of purchases that you should make. You know, if you are a collector and you enjoy the cards, right? If you look at a card and go, wow, that card looks great. And there's a combination of like rarity and some other factors that's normally a good indicator that it's going to be a good investment so or it has the potential sorry it has the potential to be a good investment long term um so yeah like trust your gut and if you can reason as to why you want to buy that go for it if you've got patience it'll probably pay off so yeah those are the kind of things i'm looking forward to over the next couple of months um but I do have four, like I said, four shiny star V boxes. Four. I don't know if I'm going to open all of them. Probably keep one sealed. I'll keep one sealed. I can see me opening three, <laughs> which will be really good fun. Um. So yeah, we'll, we'll kind of see. We'll see what happens. Um. And then by that time, oh, Zapdos! What the hell is going on? We saw a Moltres in the last episode. We've got Zapdos now. There's legendaries everywhere in this game. Um, so yeah, Vivid Voltage, like I said, not first. I will obviously keep the channel updated on the kind of stuff that I'm buying, but I don't know. I just feel a bit burnt out with the... Um, I just feel a little bit burnt out after the uh, Darkness of Blaze release and now Champion's Path. I skipped Rebel Clash. Sword and Shield I've collected pretty like almost to completion now. Um, I really liked the Sword and Shield base set. It's the, the set that got me back in. Well, it's the set that got me to make content. So 
Oh, clutch. Do you see that? Ducking and diving in those waves. He needed to do that, otherwise I was screwed. Um, but yeah, man, I mean, I just the normal sets, I'm just kind of a bit, like I said, I'm just, I feel a little bit burnt out on them. Um, and I've just not really seen anything that, that grabs my attention. Now, Vivid Voltage should be the set that does that for me, realistically. Uh, let's just, just do fine, we can see what happens. Um, I'm just taking the hit with Steelers, by the way. He's out of He's, he's going to faint. That's just how it is. Oh my god. Um, <laughs> one hit KO move for two HP. <laughs> oh, Zapdos. Zapdos is a savage. Savage. Uh, Ray Bear, let's go. Because he's going to start echoing everyone because he's a high level. <laughs> That's how those moves work, by the way, if you didn't know that. They have to be a high level. And it, if you're a lower level, I think it's never going to hit. Or it always fails. Or there's a very, very low chance that it's going to oko. Um, smelling salt. Oof. Right. What are we doing here? Double edging the shit out of that. Uh, oh god, he's done nothing. I'm going to leech seed this zigzagoon. Boom. Get out of here, Zapdos. Jeez. Right. Oh, thank God. Fake tears. That's an attack lower, isn't it? Frames crying to sharply lower the target's special defense. Hmm. I mean, explosion isn't any real use to us, is it? Uh, I'm going to get rid of... It seems stupid. I'm going to get rid of Explosion. There we go. Woohoo! Level up's everywhere, man. Oh, Bulbasaur. Hello. Yeah, another uh, kind of exciting thing I think is the uh, what a, what a transition that was into a new subject, Matt. You're an absolute natural. <laughs> uh, another thing I'm pretty excited for at the moment is the. Um, I'm double that also. Um, is the why didn't I why didn't I just use the fire move then? That was stupid. Oh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Jesus. Um, is the uh, Charizard Illustrator promo that's coming out in Japan. Um, if you haven't checked out the Illustrator contest in Japan, some of the artwork they got made for that. Oh my god. It was amazing. I think one of my favourites, the one that always stands out, is the... Um, there was a Pikachu. It's like a felt-looking Pikachu. Oh, it's an incredible, incredible piece of artwork. Um... And there's just so many. I mean, there's Char Charizards on Charizards on Charizards. There's a few Tyranitars in there that are beautiful as well. Like, incredible. Uh, like, on honestly, like, go check it out. I I'm not surprised a Charizard won. Like, it's typical. Um, but yeah, they're running. That promo runs at the end of October. Um, so, I know the people who I've pre ordered my boxes of. Uh... Oh, let's use Blast Burn. On him. Yeah, yeah, I know the people who I pre ordered my boxes with are going to be stocking some of them. I imagine there's going to be a lot of them in rotation. Like, it's going to be a lot. But it's a Charizard card. And it's not readily readily available to most people who are aware of it in the UK. So it's going to be another card that's going to probably just be stupidly priced for what it is, really. So, yeah, I reckon that's another thing to look out for. Um, I'm either going to pre-order directly for, or order directly from the guys who I've got my shiny star boxes from. I'll go for maybe Plaza Japan if they've got them. And then the other kind of stores is... Uh, well, I've got a friend who lives in Japan, so maybe I can tempt him to <laughs> go take a trip to the Pokemon Center for me. <laughs> there we go, guys. Mmm... <laughs> Look 
Kadoom. Yeah, come buskin, let's go. So, Torchic might not be made of glass anymore. Jesus. Oh, shit! I was not ready for this double evolution. Oh my god. Let's go. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh, look at him. Ferocious. Oh. Music to my ears, that noise is. Unbelievable. Double evolution. Guys, what more can you want from a battle? Oh, no way. Right, let's have a look at some stats. Okay. So we've now got the fighting on there. Uh... There we go. There he is, the gator. <laughs> Damn. Okay, right, well, team is shaping up nice. There's a double evolution right there. That's pretty nuts. Uh, I'm going to go heal up. Okay, guys. So we've healed up. We had a double evolution. I, c I can't think of any better way to end up the episode. Double e double evolution for Alligator and Combuscan now on the team. Wow. Some great team members there. Some absolute, like personal favourite Pokemon of mine and stars. Can't ask for much more. So, we have got a few more battles left on, on Mount Battle. And I've got no idea what's going to happen at the top of here. Like, genuinely can't remember. So, if you want to see what happens in the next episode, stick around, wait it out, be patient. I'm sure it'll be a good one. But you will have to wait until the next episode to find out what happens. Now, I've had a ball on this one, obviously, as usual. I've had a great time. And if you have enjoyed the episode, then it would mean a lot to me if you could leave a like or drop a comment. That kind of stuff really, really helps out with the channel and also positively reinforces me to let me know that I'm doing all the right things and that you guys are enjoying the content, which is all I want. So, if you are new here as well, if, you, if, you know, if you're not subscribed, again, consider subscribing it'd be great it is just one click for a whole lot of pokemon and you will be the first to know when a new episode or any of the other content that i run on my channel hits the internet so i'm going to leave today's episode here guys that's going to be it i'm ready for battle number five in the next episode and i hope you are too i'll see you in the next episode take care all the best luck with your pulls whatever set is making its way out whilst we're here this outro is really, really long, so I am just going to go. Peace.